In this screencast, we're going to take a look at the new project wizard. You can use this wizard to create new IntelliJ IDEA projects from scratch or to set up modularized projects. The wizard can help you to create standard Java projects with different types of build systems and other common project types. In our Ultimate Edition, there are more project types, including Java frameworks such as Spring. I'm going to use the Ultimate Edition in this screencast to show you all of the options for the different types of projects. If you've not opened an IntelliJ IDEA project before, you'll see these options in the new welcome screen in IntelliJ IDEA 2020.3. Let's take a quick look around before we start a new project, as it's worth familiarising yourself with some of these changes. On the Customise tab, you can edit preferences that will affect all your new IntelliJ IDEA projects. In 2020.3, you can also sync IntelliJ IDEA with your operating system theme. Settings in the Welcome screen are settings that apply to all IntelliJ IDEA new projects. The same settings are also available inside a project, and then they are project specific. As you'd expect, you can search for what you want to change. In the Plugins tab, you can view plugins in the marketplace as well as see those that you have installed. Learn IntelliJ IDEA helps you to learn the IDE with a range of resources for you to choose from. Let's take a quick look at the Projects tab again. This is what it will look like if you've previously opened projects in IntelliJ IDEA. Projects that are shown in grey have been removed from that location on your machine. You can use the button on the right to remove them from the list, as well as perform other actions. Let's go back to the out of the box experience for the Projects tab. The interface has changed in 2020.3 but the functionality is the same as previous versions. We can get a project from version control by pasting the link here and then pressing clone to create a copy on our local machine. We can also open an existing project from our machine by navigating to it. Or we can create a new project. This is what we're going to focus on today. This wizard is available in earlier versions of IntelliJ IDEA. I'm just using the latest version for this screencast. On the left hand side, we can see the types of projects that we can create. The first group is standard Java projects. These are available in our community and ultimate editions. The second group contains Java frameworks. These are available in our ultimate edition. The remaining project types are other common languages and frameworks that you can use to create a new project. Grails, Application Forge, Web and JavaScript are available in our Ultimate Edition, while Groovy, Kotlin and of course Empty Project are available in both our Community and Ultimate Editions. The Empty Project option is very useful when you want to create a modularized project from scratch. The Project SDK drop-down varies depending on which project type we select. Because I have selected Java, the Project SDK refers to Java Development Kits, or JDKs. The first JDKs at the top of the list, JDK 11 and 15 in my case, are the JDKs that IntelliJ IDEA has already been configured to use. The detected JDK at the bottom of the drop-down, JDK 1.8 in my case, is a JDK that IntelliJ IDEA has found on my machine, but is not yet configured for use with IntelliJ IDEA. If I click it, it will move to the top of the list and I can now use it with my projects if I wanted to. However, I'm going to stick with Java 15. You can also use the Add JDK button if you have a JDK that hasn't been detected by IntelliJ IDEA. This allows you to navigate to the JDK so that you can associate it with your projects. Lastly, you can use Download JDK to have IntelliJ IDEA download JDKs for you from some selected vendors. Select the version that you want and then choose your vendor. For example, version 14 and adopt OpenJDK with Hotspot. The Java option allows you to create a Java project using the IntelliJ IDEA build system. You can add additional libraries and frameworks to your Java project, such as Groovy or Kotlin. You can also add SQL in our Enterprise Edition. I don't have a Groovy library downloaded, so IntelliJ IDEA is asking me to create one. 
I do, however, have a Kotlin library downloaded, so I can select that if I wanted to. The Maven option allows you to create a new Java project using the Maven build system. You can select to create from archetype and add an archetype if required. The Gradle option allows you to create a Java project using the Gradle build system. Again, you can select additional libraries and frameworks for your Gradle project if required. Let's maximize our working area and go back to our Java project using the IntelliJ IDEA build system and create a new project with the Kotlin library that I already have. Let's give it a name such as Hello World, review the module settings and press finish. Our project is created with JDK 15 and our Kotlin library. Once again, the new project wizard is very useful for creating projects from the beginning and handling a lot of the build tools set up for you for a range of different project types. Thanks for watching.